Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying four Penzi's spices. We have the Penzi's Cracked Rosemary, and I have it right here. We have Penzi's, Penzi's Justice, which looks like this. We have the Bavarian Seasoning, which is right here. And then lastly, we have the French Four Spice. We're gonna be trying all four of these with a pork chop, which I just finished making so that it's nice and hot. I want to thank Michael in Wisconsin for sending, these, these, uh, sending us these Penzi Spices. And so we'll be right back to try them for you. So I've cut up a pork chop. I made a whole bunch of pork chops, but for this for this review, uh, we I've cut up this one. Uh, so we're gonna I'm gonna talk about each one of them. Uh, this is the Pensy's Cracked Rosemary, and that's all it is. That's pork chop. Um, and it says rosemary is a classic seasoning for lamb, but equally good for poultry, veal, and pork. It's great, uh, also great for soup, gravy sausage, mashed potatoes, or vegetables. Mm, mashed potatoes. So, um, I made the pork chops. I did use flour, but I did, normally I add salt and pepper. I did not add any seasoning at all. So this is just meat and some flour to add some uh, crispness to it. You know why I use Romans in there, y'all, don't you? What? The focaccia bread. Oh. We have a video up of Kevin's focaccia bread. It is absolutely fantastic, and it makes the whole house smell wonderful. Mm -hmm. It's good. I mean, it's rosemary. Mm. It's um, not too strong, but it's strong enough where you can taste it. No, but I love it, and I love it with the pork chop. Mm, it tastes good with pork. It's very good. Mm. I would still want to add some salt. Yeah. I didn't because I didn't know, you, you know. You didn't want it to affect the flavor. Exactly, but you can really taste that rosemary mm -hmm. and that is delicious. And that would be good with bread. That and the garlic. Yes. You could uh, do the um, the oil, mm -hmm. oil and put rosemary and dip your bread in it. Oh yeah, that'd be good too. Mm -hmm. With garlic cloves Delicious, I love that. And this was a free sample. So this is called Penzi's Justice. And it has shallots, garlic, onion, green peppercorns, chives, and green onion. And of course, normally when you cook with these, you will use them while you're cooking. Yeah. But just for this video, you want to separate. Have them. to do it this way. Um, that's very oniony. Mm-hmm. You really get the chives really strong. You I do? like that though. That'd be good in a salad. That's exactly what I'm thinking. Yeah. That that, that green, that kind of that green oniony kind you of. You are left or with a hamburger. I think that would be Pretty good when you, yeah, I think or that, mashed potatoes. when you're patting at your hamburger, be good and it right tells. Um, be good on potatoes or something like that. Yeah, too. I don't see it Vegetables on here. Um, that'd be good with a lot of stuff because it's just very. It has that um, that green onion kind of flavor. I don't see on here what they recommend, and maybe that's why I added with with the pork chop because I knew that would be safe. It's good though. But yes, I think this would be awesome if, as you're patting at your hamburger to add that in. I think that would be wonderful. But you are honestly, it's it's for me. It's all green onion. It's yeah, the it's same as very you. Onion, yeah. Very oniony. Okay, this one is the Bavarian seasoning. It is crushed brown mustard, mm. rosemary, garlic, thyme, bay leaves, and sage. And it says, excellent for pork, veal, or lamb. Sprinkle meat with lemon juice, rub on seasoning. And then you can roast or grill. Of course, I didn't do it that way because we're doing the video, but. That one, I don't want to eat too many more of these. Um, well, That's I have not, a whole plate, but I just haven't cut them up. That is not a strong flavor. I mean, I would got a lot of it. No, but I love it. I, I like it that it's not overpoweringly mm -hmm. one seasoning. You do get all the seasonings, and I love that. I, I, I would, don't taste brown mustard. I know, the brown mustard is the first ingredient. I thought yeah. I would get more flavor of that, but I'm also, honestly getting more rosemary and garlic. Rosemary and garlic, yeah. I, I didn't get and brown. And even then, it's not super strong. Yeah, I didn't get the uh, the brown mustard out of it, but I got the other flavor. I was kind of hoping it did have a little bit of a mustard flavor. 
I like that quite a bit. It's good. I, I think, like the. I like this one better. I think you just have to use these and know which ones you need to have a heavier hand with. This one I would I would sprinkle. Mm -hmm. I, I would know now to use more. Right. So this last one is called French Four Spice. It is white pepper, nutmeg, ginger, and cloves. And Ooh. that nutmeg's good. I know. On pork. On pork. Used for grilling or braising pork, beef, and rabbit. Also right. good for making poultry stews with wine, meat pies, and pork sausages. Add to white sauces, cream soups, and egg dishes. Mm. Is it strong? Yes. <laughs> no way around it, it's strong. It's cloves and nutmeg. the nutmeg is really, really, really strong. And the nutmeg, I get a strong clove flavor out of that too though. The nutmeg is what I was worried about. Wow. Um, Almost make your tongue. Is that ginger in it too, did you say? Because yes. I feel a tingle on my tongue. Yes, ginger. That is one that I I wouldn't like mind it. using it again, but I wouldn't use it in, in a, a, on a pork chop. I wouldn't use it at all. I don't, like it. I don't think it, it's not bad. It's just very, very strong. And it honestly, you're used to getting those flavors more in something sweet. Mm -hmm. So like if you combine that, what happened to that last piece? Oh, it's just gone. <laughs> it got dipped in that green onion. <laughs> um, I had to get rid of that nutmeg flavor. I, I think if you, if we're used to tasting those flavors in sweet things, like pies and things like that, so I think if you took that and added some sugar to it and put it, sprinkled it over something, I think it would be better, ice cream or a better use for it than uh, meat. I just, um, I don't, I just some didn't like care. For, sweet meat, so. I didn't care for nutmeg and ginger in the meat. Yeah, I just it's not a flavor I would go for, but it's not a flavor I would eat all the time anyway. So. Right. Yeah. Well, I, I love, I love the rosemary, just, just for rosemary. I just love the mm -hmm. cracked rosemary. Um, but if these, I had to use one all the time, I'd maybe the, the justice. The green thing. onion, because that's mainly the green. Justice. Yeah, it, it's a uh, Pinsy's justice. Yeah, because that's what you're getting is you're getting mainly green onion, and I think this is the most versatile in here. I think you could Probably, use this yeah. with all kinds of things, with the exception of the rosemary, which you can use in anything you want a rosemary in. But yeah, right. Green, yeah. But this one, I think. For you like could, we oh, used yeah. it with pork. I think you could use it with hamburgers. Chicken, I mean, salads, about you can do all salad. kinds of stuff. Yeah. So if if you only had enough money to buy one of them, I think this would be the one that yeah. you would want because you could use it on anything. Especially if you like green onion. Yeah, and that one's called Justice. Yeah, you have to like green onion though because it is uh, does leave that strong flavor in your mouth. But I think the first three were really really good, and I would just pass on the. The French four spice, just because it's not one that I, I don't want those flavors. Right, that's not a spice we're used to. But some people are probably are used to eating that spice, and they would probably love that. So. I am at, at, at certain times of year with certain foods, but just not with pork. Yeah. So thank you, Michael, very much for sending us these. Um, I will leave uh, a link below to where you can uh, look at their website if you want to. Uh, if you order, we won't know. Michael sent us these from Wisconsin because he wanted us to try them. Uh, so we don't get anything out of it. If you go to their website and order, I won't know about it. So I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.